Welcome to Craig Baxo. It's funny, I hated it when I was there. <laughs> and then looking back on it, I, I appreciate it more, especially seeing what it's become. Like I said, like I, when I was, I think I started going to North Davidson, I was like 15, back when uh, Fat City was still a thing, you know? Yeah. So, so we would go in there and be able to watch punk music and get drunk until, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning. And then recklessly stumble back through those neighborhoods to wherever it was we were crashing that night um but back then it was cool i mean it was they used to do i don't do they still do gallery crawls in noda they do um it's interesting that you say that i actually was talking to someone a couple of weeks ago that like it's still alive but maybe it's not as like common as it once was mm -hmm. so okay okay yeah because then it was pretty much just like bars and galleries and then you have like maybe What's that music venue on the corner? Oh my gosh, I can uh, see it right now. Neighborhood theater? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, so it was. That's all there was. So it was like every other Friday there was a gallery crawl, and it would be you know bar, gallery, bar, gallery, bar, gallery. Um, I remember there would be like people just like playing music in the street and like just like so chill. Yeah, fire. Well, I wouldn't say chill. It was kind of fucking crazy, but like fire dancers, people were wasted. Every once in a while, someone would shoot a gun. Like it was just like, it was nuts. And then I remember going to college for a couple of years and coming back and walking, going up to Noda and being like, where'd all the graffiti go? Like, it's everything's so clean, you know? And uh, that's around the time I think Cabo Fish Taco opened and stuff like that. It's crazy mm -hmm. how it's all changed and you know i always ask people yeah, drastically yeah is it for the better is it not is it somewhere in between i don't know yeah i guess that just has a lot to do with from perspective like for me like once i moved back to charlotte from college i, I started living in plaza midwood and that was back then it was you know like the artsy queer section of town um uh Again, it was it was wild, but like in a different way than it all was. Um, and then I'm a little more established, I guess, too, with like the bars and the scene and all that. And now it's, I mean, it's Plaza Midwood, still Plaza Midwood, but it seems very uh, sanitized. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it used to be a good respite from downtown and outfield or uptown, and now it feels like just an extension, like another arm of uptown. So. But again, I haven't been there in several years, so at least the common market. And yeah, that's still there and still stuff there. like that. I don't mm -hmm. know. I guess just it's almost like um, Back to the Future, the first one, where it's like, I don't know, there was before and after. <laughs> and then you see like, you know, like a billboard of like this neighborhood coming and then the neighborhood actually uh, comes. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you're like, wait, where's the analogy coming? But <laughs> yeah, I was waiting on that. Uh, 